In today's video, we're going to talk about the one thing that will kill your guitar. My name is Rob Reed. Let's get into it. Humidity is the number one thing that will kill your guitar and all guitars. Here's a picture of a guitar that was killed by humidity. Depending on where you live or the time of year, the air in your part of the world can be too dry or too wet. Guitars are built in a controlled environment where the air is not too dry and not too wet, but just right. Guitars, when you buy them off the shelf, retain a bit of moisture and water. And when you bring them home, you wanna make sure that they're stored at the same humidity level. This prolongs the life of the guitar, keeps it healthy, and enables you to play it for years to come. In this video, I'm gonna be the guitar doctor and we're gonna investigate whether or not your guitar is healthy or needs some resuscitation. I'm gonna give you some tips for taking care of your guitar and keeping it functioning at a high level for years to come. By the way, have you ever found yourself lost and confused when it comes to the guitar neck? I put together a great book to help you figure it all out and understand how the neck is laid out and what to do. So check it out, I'll link it below. You can start to notice problems with your guitar if you're in an overly dry climate or an overly humid climate. This can also happen with the change of seasons or the time of year you're in. In the winter time, it's usually a lot colder outside, so you have the heat pumping and that really dries out the air and is really bad for your guitar. In the summertime, it can be overly humid and that water in the air can get into the instrument and cause it to bulge or swell. So here's some signs to show your guitar is too dry. You'll get fret buzz. So as the moisture leaves the guitar and the guitar dries out, the neck will start to bow backwards or bow down, pulling the strings closer to the fretboard and closer to the frets. And then that will cause buzzing. At that point, you don't want to get in there and start adjusting with the truss rod because it's a humidity problem. You want to solve that problem first, make sure your guitar is properly humidified, see if the fret buzzing goes away, and if not, then you can maybe adjust the neck. Second sign your guitar is too dry, you start to get what's called fret sprout. So as the water leaves the guitar and leaves the fretboard, the wood will shrink and the frets, because they're made of metal, will stay the same size and will stick out from the neck or protrude or sprout. So you can just run your hand along the neck and see if you're catching the frets. And if it's really sharp and you're catching them, that needs your guitar needs to be watered. A third sign to show that your guitar is too dry is you get split seams. So where the soundboard is joined together, you get a seam. And once the guitar dries out, that'll, that could crack and split. And you get a crack right down there. It's kind of scary. I have to be really careful with this guitar because it's from a dry climate. I bought it uh, in Arizona. And in the winter time, if it's, when the air is really dry, that seam can start to spread apart. It's not too bad right now because it's summer and it's really humid. So I don't have a big problem, but I have to keep a really close eye on it and make sure that the guitar is probably humidified. I have a few other friends that have cracks down here as well. Another sign to show that your guitar is too dry is that the soundboard or top piece of wood will begin to cave in. So you notice a massive dip and the bridge will sink. It'll pull the neck out of place, you know, make the guitar unplayable. So make sure your guitar is well watered. Now you may be living in part of the world that's too humid and your guitar is taking on too much water. Here are some signs that your guitar is too wet. You could also get split seams, but in this case, your guitar is taking on too much water causing it to bulge and expand and causing the seams to split open. Your guitar is also too wet if you get fret shrinkage. So instead of fret sprout, the uh, guitar will take on too much water and the wood and the neck will expand, causing your frets to look like they're shrinking, but they're made of metal, they're not shrinking. It's just that the wood around your frets are expanding making their frets look smaller. Yeah. And finally, another way to know that your guitar is too wet is you get swelling below the bridge. So just watch out for that. And you'll also kind of notice when your guitar is too wet, it does kind of bulge. You'll notice some bulging in the front and in the back. And the guitar will feel like kind of heavier and a bit dense. And when you play it, it'll sound different. You won't have that nice ring or resonance. It'll just sound kind of dead and flat. That's kind of another way you can tell that there's too much water or moisture in the guitar. If you're noticing any of these issues with your guitar, don't worry, there's a solution and it's reversible. 
You want to store your guitar at a relative humidity level of 40 to 50 percent. So basically keep your guitars in a room at that level. Keep your guitar when you're not playing it in its case. So then that'll protect it from changes in humidity and the environment. Another thing you can do is get a guitar humidifier. It's a little plastic case that holds a sponge and you just wet the sponge and drop it in between your strings and it sits there and you can put it away in your case. And it just gives off water or moisture over time. It's really great. The only problem is you have to keep checking it to make sure the sponge is wet. And I, kind of, I found that kind of annoying. Next, get yourself a hydrometer, which is a cool little device that measures the relative humidity in a room. You want that hydrometer to be reading 40 to 50% at all times. And then you might ask, well, how do you get the room to that level? Well, my suggestion is go to Walmart and get a humidifier and it's great uh, in the wintertime when the air is dry. You get a humidifier that puts moisture into the air and then use your hydrometer to check the humidity, make sure it's from 40 to 50%. And in the summertime, give yourself a dehumidifier from Walmart, and that's gonna take the moisture out of the air and keep it set to 40 to 50% moisture in the air. And you should be safe and good to go, and your guitar should be healthy and resonant and working fine able to last for years to come. If you're struggling with the B minor chord, check out this video. See you in the next one.